Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I want to show you how to handle bleeding gums. It's also called, called pink toothbrush syndrome. So you're brushing your teeth and you see some blood on it, or you smile and you have that red gum issue. That is a, a vitamin C deficiency. You can call it gingivitis, whatever. It's a total vitamin C deficiency. Why? Because the person is either taking too much of the wrong type of vitamin C, creating the vitamin C deficiency, or they're not consuming enough vegetables. We get our vitamin C from the vegetable family. Yes, you can get it from kiwis and oranges, but mainly the vegetables have most of the vitamin C, and people with uh, that bleeding gum rarely ever have vitamin C, okay? So here's the thing about vitamin C. If, if you go to the store and you buy typical vitamin C, it'll say ascorbic acid. Vi ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. It's one small part of the vitamin C complex. And the problem is manufacturers, especially with vitamins, they make this synthetically out of cornstarch and sulfuric acid. Okay, yeah. Do you realize there's no vitamin C in corn or cornstarch or sulfuric acid? So they're making it synthetically. So don't ever buy into it's the same thing as natural because it's not. If you consume ascorbic acid synthetically, which is in most uh, vitamins, especially if it's over like 100 milligrams, okay, we know it's synthetic, then you're gonna create a deficiency of the other part of the vitamin C complex that normally comes in, in nature. So let's take a look at what's in the complex. The vitamin P factor, that's the bioflavonoids, okay? Sometimes vitamin C comes with a pinch of rose hips, right? Wow, it's just a small pinch. Bioflavonoids. Vitamin J is the anti, uh, pneumonia vitamin, or it actually helps your lungs, helps oxygen. It's called the J factor. Vitamin K is part of the vitamin C complex. And copper. It's in an enzyme form called tyrosinase, which is really important in co building collagen and building connective tissue. And by the way, as a side note, the adrenal glands um, store a lot of the vitamin C in your body. So when the adrenal glands run out of energy or uh, gas, you're usually deficient in vitamin C and you get all these vitamin C symptoms like, like uh, rosy cheeks, uh, spider veins, uh, things like that. That's a vitamin C deficiency as well, but it shows up in the gums, micro hemorrhaging basically. So what happens is when you take too much of this and not of these, these natural factors here, you can actually create vitamin C deficiencies and your gums start bleeding. I had a guy go, one of my patients, he, um, decided to go to Mexico to get uh, chemotherapy. Um, but they didn't do chemotherapy. They injected him with 100,000 milligrams of ascorbic acid. He came back with bleeding gums like crazy, and he had varicose veins, he had spider veins, he had hemorrhoids. That's a vitamin C deficiency. Okay, so what do you do to correct bleeding gums? You need to start consuming vegetables in large quantities. Okay, all the leafy greens, the bell peppers, all the salads, you'll get the vitamin C naturally. If you're taking any synthetic, read the label. If it's over 100 milligrams, we know it's synthetic. Don't consume it, okay? I always like to get my vitamin C from actual food, okay? Why? Because it's not hard to get, it's very easy to get, and it'll give you a lot of other benefits as, as well, okay? So write your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.